OK, so today we're going to look at Thorium, which claims to be the fastest browser on Earth. Now, Thorium is based on Chromium. It's supposed to give you the reliability and security of the Chromium browsers, which are basically 99% of the browsers out there. I can guarantee you've probably used a Chromium browser, browsers such as Chrome, Edge, Brave, Opera. I think the only browser that isn't based on Chromium is Firefox, but let me know in the comments down below if I am wrong. But we're going to have a look to see if Thorium lives up to its claim of being the fastest browser on Earth. And also it states that Thorium will also work on Windows 7 too. So if you are still running Windows 7, then Thorium is still valid. It's still up to date on Windows 7, unlike the other Chromium browsers and Firefox now, which has ended support. So if you're looking for a browser that will run with Windows 7, then Thorium is definitely for you. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, we're going to look at Thorium today. Now, one of the big advantages of Thorium is it claims to be fast and it claims to be the fastest browser on Earth. Whilst giving a about an 8 to 38 percent performance boost, they claim over vanilla Chromium. Also, one of the main advantages of Thorium is it works with Windows 7 and it's still being updated for Windows 7. So if you're running Windows 7, then you should really have Thorium on your system because it's one of the few browsers that are still getting security patches. So that is an absolute must. And you can get Thorium at thorium.com rocks and you can download a version here that's more pertained to your processor so here we've got the windows 7 version we've got the general windows 7 version we've got other processors here older processors which which claim to be more attuned to your system and give you the best performance for your system. So at the present time, I've got this installed on Windows 11 alongside a host of other browsers too. So pretty much Thorium looks like Chrome. It looks like any other Chromium browser. You've got the same sort of menus up the top here. Just most of the tweaks are done under the hood. So let's just have a look. Let's just go up to the menu there. There you go. You've got the same old menus there. You can even, if you go into settings, you can even sync with your Google account just like you can in Google Chrome. And all the menu items all look identical, really, to Google Chrome, simply because it is based on vanilla Chromium and it's just had a few tweaks done in the background to make it run that little bit faster for you, or in actual fact, between 8 and 38% faster. So you can install extensions as well, just like you can in Chrome. It's like I say, it's just the same. You can even tweak some of the layout settings here. So you've got here, um, this is the default layout, as you can see here. If I go to enable there and relaunch, the layout changes to look a little bit more like the current Chrome layout for you. But that's up to you. I mean, what, what you do with that, I think you'll probably get the best performance if you stick with the default layout, which is a bit more basic, but it does obviously give you more speed. So the other thing you've got here is tab scrolling. So you can enable or disable tab scrolling, which enables or disables the tab strip up the top there, scrolling left to right when full. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to a couple of websites now. Let's let's try going to, say, MSN. I know that's a particularly web, a heavy website for adverts and quite often it's quite slow. So let's just go to that, see how quick that loads. And there you go, that's loaded pretty quick. If I go to another website, say Yahoo, I know sometimes that can be quite slow too, yahoo.co.uk. And yet, took a little while to come up, but not bad, not a bad sort of speed when scrolling around. As you can see, the text is, is loading. 
Um, another one that we have here in the UK, which is notoriously slow, is the Daily Mail website. So let's try that. And as you can see, that comes up pretty quick here. We've got the cookie notice there. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Let's just try those, say, perhaps in normal Chrome. So I'm just going to open up normal Chrome. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the browsing history. I'm going to going to basically reset it back to factory settings. So let's go to reset, uh, restore settings. There we go. Disable extension, delete cookies and uh, temporary site data. Let's reset so that we've got a uh, a Chrome that's brand new. Let's just go to privacy and search and we'll go to clear browsing data, go to advanced. Let's just tick everything in there and let's clear everything from all time. Just make sure those are all ticked. Clear data. Let that clear. Let's come out of that. Go back into Chrome and I'm just going to do that test again. So msn.co.uk. And yeah, that did seem to take longer to load than Thorium. Let's open Thorium and do that again. msn.co.uk. Yes, yeah, that was that was a, 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 a tad quicker. Let's just try that same website, say, in Brave Browser. So uh, that's another one that claims to be performance orientated. So yeah, that took quite a while there in uh, Brave. And let's have a look in Edge. That often, again, is touted to be one of the faster browsers. Yeah, I still think Thorium there was probably one of the fastest. I'm going to, I have used Edge before. I hadn't used Chrome before, but I'm going to just, just, just to be fair, let's just clear everything out of Edge just so that we've got a fresh system. So let's just clean all of that out, clear now. And uh, I'm going to reset the settings as well. So let's go to reset settings, come out, go back into Edge and uh, let's just do another test. So msn.co.uk. And yeah, that it, it wasn't quick, wasn't quick at all. Now, I'm not going to do the test in Firefox because Firefox isn't a Chromium based browser. It is its own browser, which is based on the Gecko rendering engine rather than the Chromium engine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just do some speed tests on uh, these browsers. So let's just have a look. There's a, a website here called Browser Bench. Let's just go to that and let's just run a, uh, a speed test. Let's use Speedometer start test. This is in Chrome. And it's going to take a little while to run through a few tests. So I'm going to pause this video because you're not really going to want to be sat here watching this and waiting for it. So I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's finished its tests and see what speed it actually gives Chrome. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test in some of the other browsers as well. And we'll see what comes out the best. OK, so we're coming to the end of the tests now in Chrome. And as you can see, Chrome scored 108 plus 1.8. And let's go on to Edge now. And again, I'm going to run the same speed test on BrowserBench, the speedometer test. So let's just click start. And again, I'm going to let that run and we'll come back to it when it's nearing the end of the test. OK, so the test has nearly finished and Edge has got 107 plus 1.5. So not as quick as Chrome. So let's close this down and let's run the test again in Brave Browser. So and again, I'm going to choose Speedometer and start the test and we'll let that run through and uh, see what results we get. So Brave is just coming to the end of its tests. And that only scored 103 plus 1.9. So let's try out Thorium now. So let's go into that. And again, let's go into Speedometer and click Start Test. And again, I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it 
as soon as it's finished its tests. OK, so thorium should be coming to the end of its test. There you go. 108 plus 2.2. So in actual fact, from what I can see there, thorium is just about the fastest browser out there, as it claims. Chrome got a score of 108 plus 1.8. Thorium also got a score of 108, but th that was plus 2.2. So given that, is Thorium really worth installing? Well, if you're running Windows 7, then yes, from the security point of view, I would say definitely, because Chrome, Edge, and other browsers that are based on Chromium are no longer getting security updates in Windows 7. So you've got the edge there with Thorium because yes, it is get still getting security updates. If you want to give it a try, just go to thorium.rocks and scroll down and basically choose the version that is closest to your computer or processor and you can download it and install it. And if you don't like it, you can get rid of it. I mean, it's the, one of the great things is on the Windows version, you have got an option to download a zip file, which is a portable version. So it means it's not going to make any changes to your system, not going to add stuff to the registry. So if you don't get on with it, then all you've got to do is just delete the folder that you've created and put it in and that's it. It's wiped off the system. I hope you like this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel or have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a new VPN, a Fire Stick, a Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, then consider subscribing or purchasing through those links down below. Donating or purchasing or subscribing through those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.